Good morning. You have been invited along. If you ever hear this, stop driving your car. Listen. Hear that? That was nasty. Yeah. Yeah, this don't sound good at all. Go ahead, pull in. Try to get it in the shade. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's get her done. I kind of like, you know, just take the cap off. And let's sit there. Okay, we're off the ground. Okay, so I screwed up and ordered parts from uh, Parts Geek. And they never send you the freaking hardware to go with the brake pads. So I had to run out and buy the extra clips. Uh, Sounded like I had rotor grindage, so I went ahead and bought some gr rotors a while, both sides. I think it's the only one side. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use a black paint, since they always wind up turning black anyway. You paint them orange, blue, or any of them other fancy colors, you're just winding up having to fucking take your wheel off all the time, clean the brake dust off. The hell with that? Hey, look, sticker. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, she's pretty uh gouged up there. Okay, first thing I want to actually do is loosen up the back bolts. There's one here and then there's one down here. I'll go ahead and loosen them up. Oh, that don't look good. That's the bleeder cap. See that? First thing we're going to do is we're going to pry that back. Uh, I'm going to have to start with screwdriver first. Get in there. Try to wedge that sucker back some. There we go. No, well, our screwdriver works. You want to push it back as far as you can. I like to push back all the way. So wait, when you get put your new brakes in, you slide right on. Let's see if you can see how I did that. All right, now we're going to loosen them two bolts. All right. Pull these out the whole way. Okay. Get the parts where you want them. Okay. Alright, since we're taking the whole rotor off, we'll need a Phillips head screw in there, down there. And then we'll need to take this bracket off. And you do that by the 19 millimeter bolts on the back. There's one there, and there's one up higher, right there. So I'll go ahead and get them off. And then I can wear a brush and paint. All right, we got this bracket off. That was up here. And there's screws that are in the center there. They're usually just a nuisance anyway. I'll show you what happened to that. We had to easy out that fucker. I mean, once you put that on there, get the brakes back on, and then 
bolt up the wheel. This ain't going nowhere. That screw is just something to hold it in place for idiots, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's something in the factory. I mean, you can see there was one up top. They never even put a screw in. It's not really needed. So it looks like all our damage is on the front of the rotor. Back looks pretty good. Everything else looks rusty as pot, you know, as usual. All right. Yeah, I just went with a black. I didn't want no high gloss. So I went with like a flat black. What did I get? Yeah. It says flat black. And I got this brand. So, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and slap everything together. Opposite of the way of taking it apart. I'll put the rotor on, then I'll put that on. And I'll go ahead and assemble that with the brake, new brake pads. All right. Hopefully they gave me the right rotor. Oh yeah. I like how the the feeler gauge that tell you when it's going bad like doesn't fucking work. So this was the one on the back and the front one that was doing all the grinding. It's kind of wore. Okay, it would have been on this way. So it wore down. Yeah, she was eating metal. Alright, we got this side done. All I have to do now is slap the wheel on. See, that's a little loose. But once you put that wheel on there, it's not going anywhere. I'll slap the wheel on, jump over to the other side. Thanks. Okay, I got that done. Put the wheel on. One last step. Oh, don't forget to put this cap back on right. See how all that juice came back up in there? <clears throat> oh, yeah. All right. It's starting to get sunny and hot out. So I thought while I was at it, I noticed the backs were looking a little goopy, too, so... Clean them up too. I hope they don't have them damn screws in. Yeah, I got the screw in. I'll just paint it right on the fucking car. Fuck it. I don't even really need to get the outside edge anyway. All right. Just having so much fun. <clears throat> we got them back ones done. One thing else I wanted to add about these uh, Korean cars. What the hell is this shit? I have to peel that off someday. Anyway, thanks for watching. Spork.